Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Well, I had to do another battle with the new Selfridge ship, and I wanted to put it against the Voyager A this time. So here we go. Voyager A has got um, some quite new weaponry, more advanced, like the Selfridge. The Voyager A isn't oversized like the Excalibur, so this could be more balanced, this. Wow, so it fires quite a few photons. Let's go to the Borg Gravimetric Torpedoes. As a few of you were commenting the other day, um, the shields on the Selfridge are quite weak, to be honest, but I suppose it being an experimental ship, you're going to have a few issues with it. Here we go. Hmm. There's the bug beam. Love that beam. Our forward shield is draining. Tractor beam has been disabled, Captain. Okay, so these gravimetric torpedoes are very, very difficult to target for some reason. And we've lost the warp missile again. Yes, this ship likes to eject warp nacelles. As our resident stand-up comedian uh, said yesterday, uh, I think they took a page out of the Excelsior class's design. To be honest, I'm pleased the Voyager Array is actually doing well with this. I thought it would get wiped out and it's not, which is really cool because I love that ship. Maybe it helps keep the food fresh. Hey, the final. Oh, wait, no, we're not. Let's go to Quantums. Good old fashioned Quantum torpedoes. Can't beat them. Oh, different sound. They're actually hitting. They're actually hitting. Wow. Ooh. I think this is the most uh, critical moment of the battle here. I've been using the emergency repair feature a lot more lately. It's really good. Oh dear, half the ship's missing. Photons should come back any second. Yeah, here we go. Oh, I think it's Kurt. What? Okay, what happened then? Oh no. Okay, they must have got a lucky shot somewhere. Wow. Okay, well, we'll, we'll have to try that the other way around sometime, won't we? Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.